hope all are fine welcome back to my channel i think you understand now the topic the latest question for the cc 3.1 welding inspector or qqc inspector this will be the part two part one you have seen already there are 11 questions are there and that question every question have their explanation so you have already watched that video so this will be the part two part two also have the good question and their explanation So the first question is in all in an way all well tensile test in an all well tensile test the original specimen gauge length was 50 mm and after the test the increased gauge length was 60 mm so what is the elongation percentage so what is the formula so you have to know that formula but first we need to go the option option is percentage is 50 20 29 36 so which one is the elongation percentage so we have to know so you see the transfer tensile specimen how it looks like from where you have to cut that specimen this is called all weld metal tensile specimen so this is all weld metal this is the transfer tensile so this is the all oil metal so this this specimen is completely included only the oil area so that is called all oil metal tensile specimen what is the formula elongation percentage equal to increase of gauge length divided by original gauge length into 100 so so how it will come now so you see the gauge length from here to here so it is continuously increasing, increasing when the tensile is being uh, done by the tensile test uh, machine so you can see here the increase gauge length from here to here so how it will be calculated e equal to 60 minus 50 60 minus 50 increase gauge gauge length how much 60 is the increase gauge length minus the original gauge length is 50 means 60 minus 50 into 100 divided by 50 so it will be 20 percent so right answer will be the b b is the right answer that is 20 percentage so the, what is the elongation percentage elongation percentage is 20 so first question is you already understand so answer will be the B. Second, some codes require the excess weld metal weld cap on cross weld joint tensile specimen to be flushed. This is because why it needs the excess weld metal. You see some of the weld cap, you see some of the client requirement that needs to be flushed that cross weld joint for tensile specimen. Why? Plus caps will always break in the oil metal area it's not the reason the flask cap will always break in the oil metal area it will not always break in the oil metal area this is to remove any porosity in the excess oil metal oil cap so excess porosity is there okay you can check the porosity after porosity you finish you have to redo the welding that area if it is not redo the welding, it can be underfilled. So this will not be the correct answer. Option C, it is easier to calculate the cross-sectional area of the joint when plus. No, cross-sectional area you have to calculate if the, with the correct reinforcement, not without reinforcement. So fourth option D is plus cap have fewer stress laser and therefore give a more accurate result. So if it is more caps reinforcement is more than the requirement what will happen the stress will be generated more means that area can be broken in in a certain load or somewhere it can be problem in the near future so the option note that the stress laser at the two of the well cap will make incorrect stress laser that is also important. So incorrect stress result you can get if it is the stress result of the toe with the well cap. So answer will be the D. So option will be the D. D is the correct answer. 
क्वेश्चन थ्री वेन ट्रांसवर्स टेंसाइल टेस्टिंग वेल्टेड जॉइन द एक्सेस वेल्ड मेटल इज ऑफेन रिमूव दिस एक्शन इज डन टू यू सी द ट्रांसवर टेंसाइल टेस्टिंग ए वेल्टेड जॉइन द एक्सेस वेल्ड मेटल इज ऑफेन रिमूव व्हाई यू रिमूव द एक्सेस वेल्ड मेटल फ्रॉम द लैबोरेटरी पेपर व्हाई फर्स्ट इज अलाउ द टेस्ट पीस टू फिट एक्यूरेटली इनटू द इक्विपमेंट नो द टेस्ट पीस नॉट ओनली फॉर फिट that uh, you are uh, you are removing the excess oil matter to accurate the test piece fit in the equipment no you have to go as per the design or as per the requirement b is the reduce stress concentration to the oil toes it can be it can be If you see the oil concentration is the reduced stress concentration of oil toe, that's why maybe we can remove. Third course, third is C allows stress strain gauge gauges to be replaced over the oil phase area. No, this will not be the right answer. Option C allow oil metal ductility to be measured. No. So I think the option B is the right answer because of the stress concentration is there. That's why you have to excess oil metal is removed. Note that the stress result to the toe of the oil cap will make the incorrect stress result. That's the same reason option two and option three. The answer will be the B. Reduce stress concentration to the oil toes. Question four. In welder qualification testing of 20 mm plates, why are side bends used instead of road and face bend? Question is, you are doing the welder qualification testing of 20 mm plates. Why you are Doing side bend instead of root and face bend. First, is they are easier to produce? No, it is difficult to produce a face bend, side bend, everything. The testing equipment cannot handle thick root face bends. No, this is not the right answer. The testing equipment is measure any can handle any kind of root thick root or face thickness. Root defects are not important for welder qualification. This is also not the correct answer. Root defects also is a defect. They give more accurate indication. So, what is the correct answer? You see, the bend test to determine the soundness of the oil metal zone. Bend testing can also be used to give an assessment of the oil zone ductility. And side bend tests are normally carried out on oil over 12 mm thickness. So, you see. Specimen are testing for bend testing for barge and selby in accordance with N9 or N910 for thickness less than 12 mm root two root base and two face bend is okay, but for thickness 12 mm four bend base is required. So answer will be the D. They give more accurate indication. The side bend test is more than the requirement of root, more than the good. Result outcome instead of root and face bend tests. That's why they give the more accurate indication. That's why they do the side bend instead of root and face bend test. So you understand the root face and side bend test. Actually, before less than sorry thickness less than 12 mm, two root bend and two face bend is compulsory. But for thickness 12 mm and up, if you go the You need to go the side bend test instead of root and face bend test. So answer will be that D. So you understand here it's clearly mentioned up to T12 mm root and face bend test thickness of material T. This is T. T over 12 mm that is side bend. So how it is? This is your former former. This is how it is placed. If you see this is a normal rule. If you root bend test, so you have to pressure in. Hash. If it is face bend test, you have to pressure the pressure in the root. If it is side, so you understand the side. You have to pressure in the one side of the plate. So this is the root bend, this is face bend, and this is the side bend. Question five. Mechanical tests are divided into two areas. Identify those these from the list below. Which are the mechanical tests? Divided into two areas. One is destructive and non-destructive test. 
B is qualitative and quantitative test. C is the visual and mechanical. D is the qualitative and visual. So the B is the correct answer. These are all the people should know this one. One is qualitative and one is another is the quantitative. Quantitative test means for measuring quantity means if you are doing some mail, if you are doing some test, there is some quantity should be there. Means 100, 200, or 300 newton per millimeter square. So just you understand the quantity means a mechanical property. If you go the qualitative test, means you are doing a visually defect in the joint. You see the you see the joint quality by visually that is called the qualitative test. So example I am giving to you the following mechanical test have units and a term quantitative test means to measure the mechanical property. Just example tensile test means so there is unit is 200 MPa mega Pascal means Newton per millimeter square. So you see there is a number is there means measuring that is a quantity toughness testing impact testing hardness test that is 200 hv so what is the measure here means measuring quantity 200 hv means weaker hardness 200 if you go now if you go the qualitative test macro testing that is no measurement you see the visually you see the visually that joint is okay or not. Bend test, you need to check the quality of the bend, that bend is okay or not. You have to check by the microscope or you have to check by visually. So, you are not doing any measuring there. So, means the for assessing joint quality, you are, do, you are assessing a joint quality, good fusion and free from defect. So you understand one is qualitative and another is the quantitative. So answer will be the B. Question 6. When examining a completed bend test, the angle of the bend was found 175 degree. The testing specimens call for the sample to have been from through 180 degree. So means there is a plate. You see the bend is 175 degree is there, but as per the testing specification, it should be 180 degree. This is the question. So what is the option is the bend should be considered as failed. You see that should be 180 degree should be done, but there is only 175 degree. So the bend should be considered as failed. No, it cannot be failed. This should be in bend to 100 degree, then re examined. It can be means there is 175 degree up to bend, but you have to do the 180 degree that bend. After that, you have to do re examine of the visual. This would be acceptable as the reduction in angle is due to material sparring back. No, this would be rejected as the angle is not close enough to be acceptable because they are not done. 180 degree they down only 175 degree so they do the 180 degree after that then you have to re examine so this answer will be the b you see the bending angle this test is completed when the bending angle reached to the value given in the relevant application standard so their application standard is mentioning it should be 180 degree so by mistake it is done only 170 degree so you have to do 180 degree, then you have to do the examine. That is the correct answer. The answer will be the B. Question number seven. Charpy impact testing is carried out on a welding procedure test plate because why Charpy testing is required? It gives an indication of throw thickness ductility. No, never. Throw thickness ductility is the STRA. That is not the char Charpy testing. The impact test result can be used to verify that the material has not been adversely affected by the heat of the welding. It can be the answer, but we have to check the option C also and D also. It gives an indication of the material elongation property. No elongation property is different. That is Charpy not involved in Charpy impact testing. Fourth is it gives a quick indication of the weld quality welder qualification. No welder qualification we are not doing for this Charpy testing. It is totally different. 
subject show option will be the b you see chart testing it gives an indication of the throw thickness ductility that is i uh, explain that one so you see that this is SCRA, not chart impact test means option a option c what is that they are telling it gives an indication of the material elongation property so elongation property that is dependent on subject which chart p testing option d it gives a quick indication of the weld quality for welder qualification test welder qualification test don't require chart p impact test this is very important and option the answer will be the b so we'll go to the next page what is option is calling b B is uh, the impact test result can be used to verify that the material has not been adversely affected by the heat of the welding. This is correct answer. So correct answer is the option is B. You see STRA, the short transfer reduction area. Thus I am giving explanation in this picture so you can got understand everything. This is your all weld metal tensile test. Question 8, Charpy impact is show a 50% rough torn surface and a 50% flat crystalline surface after the completed test. This would indicate which type of failure. So you see, one of the impact tests you have done, there is a 50% rough torn surface and another is 50% flat crystalline surface. So what do you see? Why this failure? First option is fatigue to battle. No, this is not fatigue to battle. You see ductile to beetle, 50% rough turned surface. You understand this is called rough ductile and 50% flat crystalline surface means this is called beetle. P can be the correct answer. You can check also C and D. C is telling ductile, ductile with gross yielding. No. Option D, fatigue to ductile. No, this is not fatigue to ductile. So option B is the Correct answer. Chart impact is this test show that metals can be classified as being either brittle or ductile. A brittle metal will absorb a small amount of energy when impacted. A tough ductile metal large amount of energy. So you understand this is the ductile to brittle. Question number nine. Chart impact is showing a flat surface plus flat through surface after the completed test this would indicate which type of failure fatigue tactile fatigue to tactile brittle so you see the flat surface definitely it will be the brittle failure flat surface you can see the answer will be the d the brittle failure definitely you should know the flat surface means the always the brittle failure you can understand the chart impact test how is the brittle failure uh, how it is looking like the machine not everything is clear here so you can understand question 10 a str test is carried out to determine which of the following one is a quick indication of the oil quality for older qualification test no this is not for older qualification test the test result can be used to verify that the material has not been adversely mechanical damaged by the heat during welding no this is not also correct answer C is a, an indication of the material elongation property. No, it is elongation property and STRA is the different thing. An indication of the throw thickness ductility. So, you have to know the STRA test means they are asking the throw thickness ductility they are checking in the J direction. The answer will be the D. D is the correct answer. You can understand here. This is your all oil metal tensile specimen and 6.4 mm dia and you have to check the short transfer reduction area. So you understand the 10 question is very important question and the, their explanation I think you understand. So you can get the third video most probably within 2-3 days. This will be the continue this question so with the explanation. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video.